Okay, my native language is Dutch. So why am I not active in the Netherlands and or Belgium? Let's talk about it. I don't know if you are aware of what is happening in Dutch-speaking nuclear Europe. Here is the lowdown. A public nightmare in the making. Anti-nuclear groups are pushing ahead with the end goal of closing down nuclear power in the Netherlands and Belgium for good. Regardless of the fact that both Belgium and the Netherlands are planning to replace these reactors with gas-fired power plants. Belgium even intends to import this gas from Russia. These groups have been given ammunition by Electrobel and Angie, which is the operational owner of the Dual and Tihange nuclear power plants. What is going on? In 2012, ultrasonic inspection of reactors Tihange 2 and Dual 3 revealed that there were thousands of hydrogen flakes present in the reactor vessel's steel rings. Eventually, the Belgian nuclear regulator and Oak Ridge National Laboratories assessed the reactor vessels to be safe and operation continued in 2015 up until today. On Sunday, October 8th, the management of Tihange attempted a kind of reconciliatory meeting with Wise and Greenpeace. Before I show you a new newspaper article and the petition itself, I want to clarify that I think that it is a mistake to invite these groups in the first place. Also, without having all the required information extracted, declassified and available. I think they made a critical mistake and the ramifications will become very clear pretty soon. People are almost up in arms and believe me, groups like Wise and Greenpeace are very duplicitous and have far more influence than anyone, than any one of us dare to believe. Here's my non-Google Translate, real intuitive translation of the newspaper article for your convenience. Schism between activists and Tihange remains. In Tihange, the management of the Tihange and dual nuclear power plants have met with activists of Wise and Greenpeace on Sunday. But strong disagreements remain. The management of Tihange and Dool has offered insight in classified documents to experts from the, from the activists group, according to a spokesperson of the owner, Angie. However, the activists were disappointed and refused the offer because they would be required to vow judicial secrecy. The activists described the Sunday meeting as disappointing. Representatives of Wise and Greenpeace asked the management for more transparency regarding the operational status pertaining the faltering reactor vessels in Dual and the Hange. However, on Sunday, Angie's spokesperson emphasized that the company has been very transparent. All reports are public, she said. However, the source documents upon which these reports have been based may contain information critical to the safety of the plant and could potentially jeopardize it. And for these reasons, they cannot be made public, according to Angie's spokesperson. Suspicion Insight in classified documents is pointless, according to spokesperson for Wise and Greenpeace, Peer de Rijk. If publication from them is prohibited, we need to know the contents of those reports in order to debate the issue, he said. That these documents are classified makes us suspicious. There will be no follow-up meeting, de Rijk said. They refuse transparency and hide behind the law, so now it is up to the politicians. Great concerns. In the Netherlands and Germany, people have great concerns regarding the safety of the dual and Tihange power plants. A human chain from Aachen via Limburg to Tihange was organized in June 2017 
About 50,000 people participated. They demanded the closure of the Tihange 2 and Dual 3 reactors, where according to these activists, countless of fractures were discovered. Well, subsequently, Wise and Greenpeace started a petition which has so far gathered, gathered about 1.2 million signatures. We have a 500,000 signature threshold. With this volume of signatures, our ministry has to consider the petition. Here is the link to the petition. And here's my non-Google Translate, real intuitive translation for your convenience. The first victory is won. Thanks to our gigantic campaign, the German Minister for the Environment has convinced Belgium to allow an inspection by experts. Let's increase the pressure to ensure that they shut down these antiquated power stations so that our safety is their highest priority. Keep signing this petition and share it. Nuclear experts are worried two old and faulty power stations have recently been reactivated by the Belgian parliament. The risks? A new and almost guaranteed Chernobyl disaster in the heart of Europe. Recently, one of the old reactors caught fire and an explosion occurred, and the Belgian Authority for Nuclear Safety insisted on planned safety inspections after 16,000 fractures were found. Neighboring countries expressed concerns, and recently, the Dutch Minister for the Environment visited the power plants. We could end this madness by demanding that Belgium shuts the reactors down until a thorough impact analysis has been done. If enough of us participate within the next 72 hours, a radioactive nightmare in a very densely populated area will affect everyone in Europe. Let's get 500,000 signatures to deliver to the Dutch and German ministers and those of crucial countries to clarify that EU citizens don't accept the risk of another Chernobyl. Sign and share it on Facebook, Twitter, email, where you can. Well, hold on to your helmet. You understand that I do not endorse this text, even though I just read it to you. It was simply to show you what the text said, because it is in Dutch. So, thanks to the microfracture issue, the Dutch government has already decided to dis distribute iodine pills in case something might go wrong, all based on the hypothesis formulated in this document. Mögliche radiologische Auswirkungen eines Versagens des Reaktordruckbehälters des KKW Tihange 2, which means uh, the possible radiological effects when the Tihange 2 reactor vessel fails. The premise of which is this. Microfractures and hydrogen flakes have been discovered. How big would the chance of a Chernobyl-like disaster be if the reactor vessel fails? This hypothesis fails logically. They say the chance is big that this happens if that happens, but they fail to quantify how big the chance of that happening is. Now, why am I telling you all this? I think that informing is sometimes more important than anything else. People need to know what is going on. Perhaps one day we might bring about a strong enough presence to start shrinking the influence of ignorance and deliberate misinformation. We are up against foes whose objective is the elimination of nuclear energy. A win in the Netherlands and Belgium may as well be a win for Germany, Great Britain, and who knows, perhaps even France or Poland or Denmark or wherever. Nuclear energy has to be part of the conversation if we want to seriously mitigate the damage from climate change. So that's it for the main part of the video. First, here is the shameless plug. 
As you all know, I have been writing and contributing full-time to this cause for many years now. My first book came out in 2015, and ever since I have been working hard to make people understand what we are up against and why we need to become smarter and more rational when finding solutions is concerned. I cannot do this and provide for my family without your help. I'm grateful for all the people who consider supporting me through Patreon. You can donate as little as $1 a month or per video, or you can choose to share this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Whatever it is you do, I will be grateful for it. So here's the final thing. These are the iodine pills the Dutch Ministry of Public Health, Well-Being and Sports has sent me. I am currently living in a dystopia of needless fear for nuclear energy. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.